大家好，我是千鸟，今天要为大家带来的是刺客教条：枭雄。咦，这一次居然不是那两个家伙！我们这边也很冷啊，超冷的。尸体，那位男性的穿着像是个富商，他只穿了一只鞋子，身上有多处骨折，且是他从很高的地方摔落，但没有任何可以辨认身份的证件。撞击。掉落，从桥上掉落。就是这边地势地势比较高哎、欸，哦拖痕，所以有人把它拖过来。怀表，一个坏掉的怀表，只剩在刚过午夜没多久就停住了。不要穿很多才能睡觉，太冷了，要注意保暖。这边好像显示太低了，然后这些这些表都很喜欢在人家死掉的瞬间停止工作。实际上跳下来之后受了一点伤。I heard a splash and right quick pulled this bloke out of the shallows, dead as a mackerel. The midnight train, that must be the 616, stops in the station down the road. If you hurry, it might still be there. I live there now, if you can call it living. I lost my job, didn't I? No need for the likes of me when a machine can do the work. A nice warm coat like that on a dead man? What do you expect? I snatched it before somebody else came along to nick it, like you. Come on, white hat, just on you. 
Aha, aha. Someone talked You better hurry. It's leaving right now. No,打倒君主的大规模贸易中毒啊嗯看起來是有點嫌疑的就放完外了啊在車頂上
鞋子，被挂在架子顶部螺栓的一只鞋和受害者脚步的另一只吻合。沉重的负担哦，手印，所以他从这边爬上去的。Not ding noise. Some noises on the roof woke me up briefly. You say someone was thrown from up there. You have to be a very strong fella to drag someone up onto the roof. Vivian had another of her dupes in her compartment by then. After that, I remember people going past me from time to time, but I was half asleep. Killian was on this train. Cool. I used to work in his foundry. I've never even seen him. None of us workers ever knew what he looked like. Well, Peter worked with me at the foundry. He's a very strong bloke. I got my arm mangled in one of the damn machines they put in. Then Killian sacked the old crew. Peter, he helped me get hired as train staff. 感觉彼得最可疑啊，又很壮，然后又很。要要对吉利安有所不满。嗯，我怎么先问到人呢？吉利安会在六一六号往卡蒂夫的车上签署文件，你必须不惜一切代价阻止他，不然我们都晚了。掌心雷，一个小的杜德夏雅的掌心雷，可以装两发子弹，但一发不见了。I had drinks in the dining car with Killian. We had business dealings in the past. It was a pleasant surprise to discover him on this train. I felt unusually tired and came back here to get some sleep. I suppose there were some disagreements, but there always are when a great deal of money is involved. 觉得想睡，可能有人，可能有人在东西里面下药让大家睡着。Mr. Wolf had a few with Mr. Killian. Then the young lady invited herself over to have a glass with him. Mr. Wolf became terribly tired, even though he'd only had one drink. He toddled off to bed well before midnight. I stayed in the dining car for a few drinks with the barman. I've been Mr. Wolf's valet for going on several years. He's frail and needs a man like me to help him about. Mr. Wolf bought him drink after drink. Then they got angry. But the young lady came over, and it's obvious that Mr. Killian was interested in a rendezvous like. Around about 11:30, Killian and her left together. That sounds like that. Wei Wei An is also a little bit suspicious. Sam, he's a trusted valet. He's terrifically strong, which makes him useful in many situations. 他也很壮，一定是我被暗杀了他，情杀。可是这里没有没有提到，没有提到那个感情问题啊。说情杀会不会有一点太？总算见到你了，薇薇安
抽提巴，里面有一封信，精心的如何为为安？又有鱼上钩了吗？多么可爱的把戏！我需要一个像那样吸引人的计谋。下次你在合书时，我们喝一杯吧，亲爱的，你的姐妹。Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. I think we're in some sort of to steal things. He put rich people in jail, and then he can steal things. I should use a car. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing unusual at all. I had a drink with some gents and then retired to my sleeper. Someone slipped a note under my sleeper door a few minutes before midnight. It said I should come to the dining car. I went, but only Ryan and Wolf's man were there, and they were both drunk. Oh, all right. I flirt with rich blokes, and the barman slips my mickey. I take them back to my sleeper, and they nod off before I have to do anything shameful. They wake up thinking they had a night of fun and hand me a few quid. That's what happened with Mr. Killian, but he was gone when I come back from looking for the man who left the note. The rich fella. I did talk with him. Very charming. But a single woman has to be careful, you know. Did something happen to him? Oh, all right. I flirt with the rich folks, and the barman slips my mickey. I take him back to my sleeper, and they nod off before I have to do anything shameful. They wake up thinking they had a night of fun and hand me a few quid. That's what happened with Mr. Killian, but he was gone when I come back from looking for the man who left the note. 对，不是他。You mean the young lady? She and Killian hit it off famously. Embarrassing, really. 嗯，我们安不是说他跟鸡鸭没有怎样吗？大家讲的好像对不太起来。有力气的是男仆跟彼得，然后我觉得应该不是维维安，因为他不会，他没有没有什么理由要杀人家。对，比较有理由的应该就是那个彼得。I gave him what he deserved. The man was heartless. 耶、yeah, ，抓到啦！安安。他们在离我好远，在那边讲。下一站，谋杀
。实业家马修基安被他的前员工彼得杰斯伯斯迷昏后，从移动的火车丢下去。之前在吉利安的工厂因为机械化而失业，彼得得到火车试着的工作。然而某天夜里的彼得得知吉利安也在车上。在这趟旅程之前，彼得从未见过吉利安，但现在因为最近的报纸文章而认出了他。彼得知道，微微安经常诈骗富有的乘客，等他又。引诱基利安到他的房间，他狡猾地安排维维维安被纸条叫出卧铺。彼得接着用他强大的力气把富豪拖上屋顶。午夜之时，从那把他丢下致死。基利安的敌人安格斯沃夫本来希望灌醉基利安，阻止他在隔天签署贸易文件。但他整个过程因为白兰地而睡倒，睡着了。至于杀人犯彼得，或许他伸张了正义，但现在他将反过来去面对正义的惩罚。亨利·雷蒙。好久不见。上上周是上周吗？我记得你什么时候有来一次啊？虽然也看完了，计划改变。我先去帮雅各收拾残局好了，竟然无奈的雅各。<笑>